Hello, 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 and welcome back to another episode of Nellyville Reviews Drag Race. This is season 16, episode 9, so let's just get started. So this week was another design challenge. This makes, what, the third design challenge of this season, and that's a little unheard of. Um, we haven't seen this many design challenges in a season in a really long time. So I had some notes, you know, I took some notes. I'm going to focus on the looks and then I want to get to this elimination and really focus my time on that because I, I have some things to say. I have some thoughts, I have some critiques on just, um, yeah. So let's just jump right into the looks, shall we? So this theme for this design challenge was goth. Okay, think Wednesday, think the Adams family, think Morticia, which of course I know what you're thinking. Nymphia can't wear yellow, oh my gosh. Nymphia really pulled it off and yeah, so like, anyways, we're gonna look at her in a second. The first girl that we're going to look at in the See You Next Wednesday show is Dawn. Dawn's look was pretty cool. She actually, uh, we found out that she has an engineering degree and it really shows in the structure of her garment. You can't really see in this picture, but she created like this hovering chandelier effect, which was really, really cute. Next up, we have Morphine. Morphine was a pretty simple look. I actually was not crazy about her makeup this week only because I have Morphine as such a high standard. This makeup is perfectly fine, but I feel like for her, I think it was, it just wasn't her best, but that doesn't mean it wasn't really, really good. I wasn't blown away, but it wasn't an awful garment. Next, we have Nymphia. Now, Nymphia, I think, had the best outfit. This picture does not do this outfit justice, and I think that she had the best makeup this week. This garment here, it was so dramatic. It was so good. I was not surprised that Nymphia turned this out. I mean... If nothing else, Nymphia has served looks every week on this runway. Then we have Plain Jane. Plain Jane, this is a perfectly fine outfit. Um, there's a lot of details that just got lost on the runway. I mean, you have black on the runway with all those lights, you're just gonna lose details. But the craftsmanship, the fine little things, I mean, the silhouette is, is obviously nothing new but the details and that she put into it I, I feel like was really like okay girl i see you plasma poor plasma look between plain jane and don encouraging this girl and pointing out that hey you kind of do the same look this might be a good time to step out of your comfort zone it didn't pay off um but i love that plasma tried not to do that old hollywood um uh, her, her regular, you know, shtick that she does, but sometimes you got to stick to who you are. You got to stick to what you know. You can't second guess yourself because you end up with looks like this. Uh, but I, I appreciate the effort. I like some of the elements separately, but together, no. And then you not having body really just, it, it did you no favors, baby. Then we have Q. The judges flipped out over this look. A lot of people flipped out over Q. I like the, the the makeup. I mean, it's fine, but I didn't live for this the way that everybody else did. I mean, I think that it's really creative. Um, but it looks like polka dots, but those are actually roses. I don't know. I mean, it's very club kid. It's different from most others. I don't know if I'm getting gothic from this. It's, it's black and white, but I don't know that I'm getting gothic from this. Um, the construction is really great. It was really not, the lining on the inside was cute, but I just didn't lose my mind like how the judges did. Then we have Safira. Safira, this is a, this is a really nice garment, um, but what really sold it was how she sold it on the runway. She she embodied this character. It was so funny. She just it really it, it gave it to me. It it was a it was a strong look. Um, you know, could would I change a couple things here and there? Sure, but overall this was a really strong. Not to mention she helped Maya a lot, which we're gonna talk about that. Last but not least, we have Maya Iman. La Page, and this is her look, aka Safira's second look, because um, Safira basically made this look. 
and um Maya was questioned about it on the runway. They were like, if you can't sew, how did you make this? You know, is this something way, way innovative? No, but this is pretty intricate for somebody who doesn't sew. And then so Maya just kind of played it off like, well, Safira helped me a little. And Safira wasn't like, no, I Good thing Safira wasn't that type of person because most of the girls would have been like, really? You're going to stand up there and act like I didn't make your whole outfit for you? But anyways we're 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 gonna we want to get to that we're going to get to that so q ends up winning i wasn't surprised because of how the judges reacted i like that this was a design challenge and i don't know if anybody else caught this but they had like the project runway um like not like the theme song but like you know the music the background music that project runway had i noticed that they had it in this episode i don't know if it, it just, anyways, that was just a side little Easter egg I thought was funny. In the bottom, you have Maya and Plasma. Nobody's surprised, okay? Um, Maya probably mostly, I mean, her look just wasn't as strong as other girls. It was really, really good, but it's, you know, you just don't have that many people. And then plus, probably her getting so much help probably had a little bit to do with it. The judges didn't seem to be too, too bothered about the help. At least we didn't see them being bothered by it. But I'm sure that was like, well, she didn't even, you know, somebody else did this. So, yeah, you got to go in the bottom. And then, of course, Plasma landed in the bottom because, you know, she let people get in her head. And, you know, sometimes you take a risk and sometimes it pays off and sometimes it doesn't. And this was one of those times that it just, you know, it, it didn't it didn't work out in her favor. So here we go. Also, this week, no one was safe, so everyone stayed on stage. Everyone got critiqued, so this was the first time that this has happened. Plain Jane kept her potion once again, which, you know, she didn't need to use it. I, like I said, I don't think she will use it. I think she's just going to ride it out, and I definitely don't see her giving it to anyone. So, Maya and Plasma lip sync to Bloody Mary, Wednesday dance TikTok version uh, it's a Lady Gaga song. So, um, so the lip sync was pretty good. Of course, Maya turned it out. Plasma really gave energy. She really, really, really gave it. But because Maya, this, you know, lip syncing is like, that's her thing. It's just, it's going to be hard for anybody to kind of stand up to the performance skills of that lip sync. Maybe if Plasma had a different song or something. Plasma wasn't bad, but Maya is this season's lip sync assassin. So, you know, it was just going to be hard to beat. And then plus, Maya had the uh, Sasha Rose moment. So, like, you know, remember, y'all remember the iconic lip sync that Sasha won Drag Race with the roses and the emotional against Shea Clay or whatever. So Maya recreated that. Um, and Maya ends up winning this lip sync and Plasma goes home. Okay, so here's what I want to talk about. Okay, so I get that we have the lip syncs for the bottom two and who gets to stay and who goes home is mostly dependent on how you do in that moment. Sometimes track record is considered, it seems like, but a lot of times track record may not have anything to do with it. I think that track record should probably hold more weight in deciding who gets to go home, especially when you get this far in the competition. Here it is, you have somebody, Plasma, who has, I think, two wins, who has been mostly in the top safe, but who's never really, has had been really, really good in this competition messed up one time and got sent home. Whereas Maya has been in the bottom for the better part of the competition, has lip sync. This is her third time. I think Maya might have a win, but that was only when she because she was in a group. So and I think she was in that winning group. So she might not even have a win at all. I'm not I don't feel like checking right now. But the thing is is like I don't know that it's fair that she didn't make her garment and 
she's still here to fight another day. And not to mention, I think why I really am like, send her home because she was really gloating. The day of the challenge, she came and told me, oh, I got a great night's sleep. You know, everybody else stayed up all night in their hotel room trying to get their look together. And she's over here talking about some, oh, I had a great night's sleep and I feel great and bippity boppity boop. Yeah, I bet you, I'm sure you do feel great because you didn't do, you didn't participate. I don't understand. I know it's good that the girls help each other. There's nothing wrong with being helpful, but I think that this, there needs to be a rule about how much you can help someone or how much help you can get. And this might be the thing that makes them really create some new rules because you know look plasma is going to be fine it's not the end of the world i think they it's just it's you know it's just a game it's, it's a tv show it's not a big deal but man it's, it's just messed up it's messed up and um wow plasma i just i don't think it was your time no matter how good maya did it a lip sync because to me, it's not just about the performance of the lip sync. It's how how much fight you have. If you're up there fighting, baby, I don't and you know your words, baby. I don't care if you dancing off beat. I don't care how many stunts you pull or if there's reveals or whatever. If I see you up, Plasma was fighting for her life, and I think that that should have meant more. Even though the outfit, it wasn't cute. It wasn't. You didn't have body, but. I think that the fact that she tried to step out of her comfort zone and, you know, and constructed something that was really nice, it didn't match, it didn't go together, but the effort was really there in the challenge itself and in the lip sync. And yet you have somebody here who's been in the bottom who's not even grateful, who borderline lied about how much help she got. Um... Yeah, it didn't make sense. But um, yeah, so Plasma, I hope that you get your your uh your redemption and uh Maya, baby, humble yourself. I hope that you see the show and I hope that you see um your poor your your, your poor attitude. It was what a what a turn off. What a turn off, you know. It's the name of the game, but hopefully they come up with some rules because People should, you didn't participate in the competition. Somebody made the outfit. Like, to me, you should just be eliminated by default because what did you, you didn't do nothing. This was not a group challenge. And these girls who go around, I know you want to help your sisters and stuff, but it's just like, child, look, sink or swim. This is season 16. We should know how to sew. Why do we keep having this conversation? But anyways, Congratulations, Q, on uh, on your win this week. Um, I can't wait to see what the girls are going to do next week, um, especially at the top of the episode after Plasma just went home. <sighs> Anyways, um, that's all I have to say. I, I, I had some, some notes and stuff, but this em elimination, I'm just like, child. Anyways. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think about all of this. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.